tomatoes, that gorgeous red vegetable that is a staple of any kitchen and any garden. I started my tomatoes in March and the seeds were very quick to grow and it's easy as a beginner gardener to grow tomatoes. I used an heirloom variety, Bonnie Best, and probably should have paid more attention to the back where it mentioned the indeterminate variety. Indeterminate are probably not the best for growing in containers. An heirloom seed is basically one that has a bit of history. And again, not being very technical, it means it's from an old cultivar that has been passed from generation to generation. This Bonnie Best dates back to 1908 and is a very popular variety. Thank you, Rare Seeds, for giving us that explanation. I also purchased a cherry tomato container from the local nursery. And I think it's really important as a beginner gardener or any gardener to complement your garden with different plants, whether they're from seed that you started or from young plants that you've purchased from the nursery. It really is rewarding to get an early crop in the season that you can enjoy. As you can see from my cherry tomato, I actually have had at least two harvests since we've started with the plant. And cherry tomatoes are sweet and succulent and a really great reward for midsummer. Choosing the right container is critical. I've had to transplant my tomatoes quite a few times because I underestimated how quickly and how big they grow. This first container here, as you can see, is rectangular and that tomato plant quickly outgrew this container and I had to move it to a separate container. This is what it is in now. I still think it's slightly small, but it seems to be a lot happier. My cherry tomatoes came in a pre-bought container and with cages. That's the other point. You do need to cage your tomatoes to give them the support that they need as they grow. I started this seed at the same time as my other seeds. And again, the container was too small and it got root bound. You can see side by side the two plants what the difference is. And I think a key part was because it wasn't a container too small. I have since transferred it and it seemed to be doing much better. Tomatoes, like many plants, are prone to different diseases and pests. One of the first things I had to deal with was black spot or Cyptoria leaf spot. It was quite dramatic because that was the first disease I had to deal with and it was on my cherry tomato plants. A couple of key things. Don't water your plants at night. Prune at the bottom of your tomato plant and prune generally uh, because tomato plants can grow voraciously and ensure that when you are watering that the water is not splashing up onto those bottom leaves which you can prevent if you are actually cutting and pruning the bottom leaves. I also treated it with an antifungal spray so first pruned all the leaves that had the black spot on it and then treated it with an antifungal spray uh, pictured here. There's a lot of great natural solutions available um, on YouTube and, and a lot of the gardeners I follow um, have some really neat solutions. I haven't tried them, but certainly for next season, something I will be looking at. Okay, let's talk hornworms. They are intimidating looking creatures. Some might say pretty, uh, but they can devastate your plants. And uh, if you don't like creepy crawly things, they're a little... Mm. Um, I found the eggs actually and the key is keeping an eye on your plant so you can see this little white or actually they're sort of green cylindrical um, balls that I found on the egg on the plants and I removed them by hand um, and I actually also found a, a little baby one at the same time as I was uh, looking for the eggs and was able to remove him as well however it's tricky and the Hornworm moth uh, lays the eggs on the underside of the leaves and sometimes you miss them and I did and subsequently uh, discovered two adult ones um, recently and I do have a separate video on hornworms uh, coming shortly. The 
great thing about tomatoes is they're self-pollinating, so you really don't have to worry too much. Keep an eye on the plant, and those lovely little yellow flowers will pop out, and after a few days of blooming, they'll dry out, and keep an eye out, these little bud, tomato buds will form. Not every plant or every flower will have a tomato, but most do, and it's really rewarding to watch them grow from a small little bud to a full-grown ripened tomato over a number of days. Tomatoes require consistent feeding and watering. I water my plants pretty much every day and I feed them once a week. I use a liquid plant food and apply that to them, as I say, once a week. There's seven drops to a litre and that contains a number of different nutrients that the plants need. You'll see the designation 101510, which stands for the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium content. And you can read what each plant food contains. I also on occasion use dried plant food and this is very useful particularly before you plant your plants into the soil. You can mix that into the soil or if your plant is already established mix it into two and a half centimeters within the soil level. Remove the mulch, uh, work it in and apply it. Don't put it on the stem but just apply it around the base of the plant. Again, work it into the soil and then replace the mulch and water it in. Mulch is really great again for containers because it retains the moisture and as I said, tomatoes are hungry feeders and they need consistent watering. The moment of truth, the moment where you get to harvest that juicy, succulent tomato. Now, the great thing about tomatoes is they've almost been built in to be harvested. It's best to pick them when they're slightly orange, not fully ripe, because allowing them to ripen on the vine leaves it more susceptible to disease and pests. And if you pick it with the stem in, it will ripen very nicely um, on your kitchen counter or wherever you'd like to place it. Cherry tomatoes are sweet and really a great treat for the summer. Sometimes it takes a little bit of a tug to, to get that tomato off the plant, but just be gentle and then you'll be rewarded with an amazing harvest. Enjoy gardening. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe to get all my gardening tips and not miss any of my videos. Thank you.